gotta get your water in. Diet is going strong. Drinking tons of water. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. It's Thursday. It's almost Friday, which is always good news. Um, track is open tomorrow, which is good. I'm taking my car to the track tomorrow. That's all. That's always a good sign. And uh, right now, I've already trained a few clients this morning. And uh, right now, I'm actually headed back to the 85 station. And uh, also filling up some for Branson, because his car is also on the 85. And I'm a good friend, and I told him I was going to go to the station. So I would take his tanks for him as well, so he can stop being on pump gas. Branson's actually, he's got a flex fuel sensor, so he can run either or. He just... Um, this car obviously is lower power on the pump gas 91, so he wants to be back on E85 for the track being open tomorrow, so I'm headed over there to get him some E85 as well. Um, but yeah, what I want to talk to you guys today about is the E85 out of the pump that we get it from, which is from Center Gas, versus the VP, which is... Uh, VP Racing Fuels X85, that's their version of V85. Um, so I want to test theirs versus testing the one out of our pump. Now the one out of our pump, well, before I talk about this, just note that these testers are not completely accurate. So it's just a small little test tube. It's got a line that you fill up, um, you fill up to with water and then you fill up the other line with the 85 and it separates and tells you the ethanol content of the fuel. So, I've already tested the one at the pump. Like I said, these aren't completely accurate, so take this all with a grain of salt. Don't get mad, don't uh, unsubscribe or thumbs down this video because you're mad because you think it's not correct. This is as close as possible, and the good thing is, um, we're using the same test tube for the VP X85, so at least uh, it's a good comparison. Whether they're correct or not, at least you can see if one's better than the other. So um, the VP, just so you know, it works out to about $9 a gallon. They sell it here at a local off-road store. If you've seen in my older videos when I was first tuning my car in the 85, I went and got that uh, because it was easier to go get that and I wanted to put it on straight E85. I didn't have time to test the one at the pump and I didn't have time to go to the pump because uh, it's kind of out of the way, but so is the off-road store. Either way, um, anyways, so we've tested, and I'll show you when we get back to the house, but we've tested the one out of the pump and it's testing around 92 to 93 actually, um, which is pretty crazy considering the fact that when I had my Evo in Colorado, Oh my gosh, sometimes the pump would test at like 67 to 70 when they get their winter blends. It was horrible. It was really horrible. Uh, during the summers, you would get 80 to 83. I never really saw true 85 out of the station I was going to. They kind of always screwed us over. Um, so it's really nice to know that here, um, the minimum is 85. So. If you guys want to know, Branson does have a flex fuel sensor. So does Kevin, but Kevin's, he doesn't have an actual digital gauge to read it. His car is just tuned based off the ethanol content. Uh, Branson actually has a gauge for it, and his was reading 85. I think one time I read 83. I'll have to ask Branson just to make sure on that. But I think one time the lowest was 83. Um, so we'll have to see what his gauge says today and we'll see if we can catch up with him on this video and uh, see what his gauge is reading after I test it with the test tube. So I haven't tested the VP yet, but I have tested the one out of our pump and like I said, it was 92 to 93 on the test tube. Take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we need to test it, test the VP now, uh, which we're going to because I do have one can left. I've got one five gallon can left and uh, we'll try and fill that up on the test tube when we get back. So let's over to the E85 station. Set it. 
So three of these are Branson's and four of these are ours. We got we got a ton more at home, but I don't think we needed that much. All right, so we got 37.3 gallons of E85. <clears throat> so now I gotta go in that little building, pay that lady, which I already did yesterday because I filled up my car yesterday, or whatever day that was, two days ago. Shit, I'm losing track of the week. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Let's go pay for this E85. All right, so here is the Holly test tube. So you see fill water to that line, pretty accurate there, right on it. And then you add E85 to this top line, shake it up a little bit, and then it'll separate it. So let me go make a freaking mess real quick with the VP and we'll see what that tests at. So let me show you. So these are already open VP cans. This one is the last one we have. It's actually a sealed VP can. So this is VP's X85 that we're gonna test versus the Pumpy 85. So you can see the seal. Alright, so now this one's open. I didn't make too bad of a mess, but let's shake this up. So now they should separate. So you can see the butt, it's kind of hard to see. I should have used my better camera, but this is a GoPro. But you can see them, um, they separated right at 85. Literally right at 85. So you see the separation here between the water and the ethanol? Actually, it's a, yeah, it's settling r pretty much right on it. There's a little bit of bubbling there from me shaking it, but it's pretty much right on 85 if not 84 but so that's vp okay so let me empty this one out and i'm going to fill up from the pump 85 that we just got in the back of the truck all right guys here we have the pump e85 from center gas here is the holly tester water filled back up to the water line as you can see pretty much spot on so now let me make another mess pouring this into there all right, guys, so we got this filled up. We're going to shake this up and see how the pump E85 does. So this is the pump 85. You can see it start to bubble and separate right there. You can actually see it pretty good on the GoPro. It's not bad. So it looks like we're right under the fill line so i mean even if you added that little bit of water i mean you're still this stuff is still testing at 90 or above i mean definitely above 90. just look at that so yeah, you're, you're still definitely above 90 even if we're i mean when you're holding it right here you're at the fill line but we're, it looks like with the bubbles, we're like right under. So even if you had the fill line perfect, we're still testing above 90. So this is 250 a gallon from our pump here, Center Gas. I know it's cheaper across the country, depending on who you get it from. But here in Amarillo, Texas, we only have one pump to get it from. And uh, this stuff's testing above 90 at 250 a gallon versus the VPX85, which is $9 a gallon. This whole thing is 45 bucks. This is their X85. Um, now, I would recommend using this if you're somewhere where you're getting really low E85, somewhere like Denver where they get the winter blends. You may want to get something like this. Um, but we're very fortunate here in Amarillo to have E85 that's testing at E90. Um, it looks like E90 is the minimum. <laughs> um, it's obviously above that. So you can see here again, so, and like I said, this is just a little test tube. It's not exact, it's not perfect. It doesn't do, um, it's not exact science. So, um, but it is 
a fair comparison doing the X85 versus the Pumpy 85 because you're using the same test tube. So we do know at least that our E85 here in Amarillo, Texas is stronger than the VP X85, which is $9 a gallon. So that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, leave some hate comments below because I know they're about to come. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure you always comment, like, subscribe. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.